Give me the sign. Go ahead, bro. Hallelujah. Come on, stand with me this morning. <clears throat> Turn the person next to you. Give them a hug and tell them you need help. <laughs> you need help. <laughs> hey, 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 just a moment there. You're enjoying that a little bit too much. Tell them the truth. I need help. <laughs> you know, I heard um, last night, and, I, and I've heard many times that I've been here that uh, Charlotte and Bob have written hundreds of choruses and songs and some with verses and some of them are a little more complex, and, but they all minister life. And, and I would just mention to you that when you write or compose a song, usually it's out of your head. But Job was asked, where were you? when the morning stars sang for joy. It's not composing one, it's receiving one. Yeah. We're just the rece recipients of receiving songs of life. This song came about 20 years ago, East Lansing, Michigan. A Canadian by the name of Bill Lethbridge. And uh, it's, do, how do we turn this up, just here? Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> we'll go through it once and I think you'll like it and it sure follows on the stream of truth he's changing me from mortal to immortality he's changing my mind he's changing my mind I'm losing gravity no more to be pulled down ascended on high Ascended on high Ascend, ascend with me The Lord now speaketh well Arise, arise with me Delivered from your hell Oh, stand and you will see Light shining everywhere It's me, it's me Transfiguring me does that fit? Can you receive it? Do you believe it? He's changing my mind. Hallelujah. He's changing me from mortal to immortality. He's changing my mind. He's changing my mind. I'm losing gravity no more to be Send it on high, ascend it on high. Ascend, ascend with me, the Lord now speaketh well. Arise, arise with me, delivered from your hell. Oh, stand and you will see light shining everywhere. It's me, it's me, transfiguring. He's changing me from mortal to immortality. He's changing my mind. He's changing my mind. Well, I'm losing gravity. No more to be pulled down. Ascend it on high. Ascend it on high. Ascend, ascend with me. The Lord now. Well, arise, arise with me, delivered from your hell. Oh, stand, and you will see light shining everywhere. It's me, it's me, transfiguring me. One more time. See, like 
light shining everywhere. It's me, it's me. feeling pretty good. Amen. <laughs> Anybody know about Elsie? Dorothy? Pardon? Oh, they were. Oh, I'm so sorry she missed that, I'll tell you. Um, I did get a text from Christy uh, Adams, um, and her mother was sick, and so they left back for Lafayette, Georgia this morning pretty early, that whole family. so. We do need to pray for these ones that are sick amen. like that. It's uh, yes, amen. my horse Karen. Is she around? <laughs> oh, right, right. Come on up, and we're going to minister to those that are sick. And some of them are just feeling really rough here at this meeting. So we're all very thankful that God protected us. Amen. You know, because that's amen. a treacherous amen. old bug, really. So Elsie and any anybody else with. Doug, come by the mic, I can't hear I have, I have a friend named Alona that has found a lump, I think about right here, and she's going to the doctor Monday, okay. and she asked for prayer. Amen. Okay, thank you. Amen. Pauletta wants us to pray for her children, too, also. Hallelujah, hallelujah. I think, and when I get through, Charlotte, I, I want to pray for those two little kids at the Pauletas, sure. yeah. Okay, let's just praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Oh, we praise you today, Lord. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Oh, praise you, praise you. Hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah, hallelujah. Oh, you're the only one we can take our needs to. Hallelujah. Oh, because you answer. We ask, we pray, and you answer. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Oh, praise you, Lord, praise you. Oh, Lord, we bless Elsie Kate's Lord. Hallelujah. I know. 
disappointed. But the God is going to bless you, LC. Hallelujah. When you go back, you're going to minister like never before. Hallelujah. Glory to God. God is doing a new thing in you. Hallelujah. Glory to God. I see the glory of the Lord all over you, LC. Hallelujah. You're taking a step up. A step up, hallelujah, into the glory of the Lord, hallelujah, glory to God. And Carol's request, Lord, the two patents she asked for, Lord, you're going to move in their lives, hallelujah. When we pray, God is going to move, hallelujah, glory to God, hallelujah, hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. Glory to God. And this brother that had a, a friend that has, they found a lump. Lord, I speak to that lump. Oh, you are not going to just be destructive to this woman. Hallelujah. She's going to glorify the Lord in this. Hallelujah. Lump, be gone. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Oh, we have a God that can answer all things. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Glory to God. Hallelujah. And Benjamin, you and your wife, you and your wife on the way here this morning, the Lord said to me, you aren't going to be in prison much longer. There's a day that you come out of the prison house. Hallelujah. Glory to God. He's opening it up. Hallelujah. He's got the key. It's going to be unlocked. You're going to go free. You're going to go free. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. With the joy of the Lord. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. Thank you, Lord, for these services. Hallelujah. We have been melted together. We are one. I've never seen it so one. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Aren't you glad the Lord directed you here this weekend? Yes. Hallelujah. Oh, he brought his team together. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. We have one person, purpose and one mind, one accord. Hallelujah. Just like the day of Pentecost. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The Lord is going to send us out. We didn't come here just for goosebumps. We came here for a purpose. Glory to God. God's calling you into this army. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Glory to God. Pauletta, bring your kids up here so we can pray for them. Pauletta, these are her great niece and nephew. And they grew up in a sad situation, almost like um, Christie's kids. And uh, any, I want anyone that feels led to pray for these kids to please come up. Because they're beautiful children, beautiful. But they have problems because of what they lived through. And God can remove those anxieties and the bad nightmares and all that.
Thank you, Father. spoke this song into my heart when they started praying for those children. separate them from their past as far as the east is from the west. The 
terror of the night isn't going to find them. The Lord is going to heal them and restore them and make them whole. Love is their portion now. They're going to know nothing but the grace and the love and the safety of their Lord Jesus Christ. And I see the covering of the Lord going over this whole house. Over Mike and Pauletta and the whole family. Cover me. Cover me. How many need covering this morning? Amen. Extend the border of thy mantle. he's put you in your position for that very purpose that you're going to cover a multitude of children and as you walk I'm going to establish you in a sure place and as you ask of me shall I do saith the Lord for thou knowest the needy the ones who have been harmed and I say the Lord will let you set them free Stretch your hand out to Amy. Thank you, Father. Amy's a lawyer. Yes, Lord. And she has a responsibility, and God is with her. Minister to her. Hallelujah. Lord, this lawyer is yours. <laughs> this lawyer is yours. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes. Lord. yes. Lord. yes. <laughs> Hallelujah. A new day for you, Amy. A new walk. A new understanding and a new talk. Yes. I elected thee. You did not choose me. I saved you for this day. I've kept you through many things. And I'm raising you to a place that will glorify me, saith the Lord. When you see the tears, wipe them. But go to bat for them. Yes. And I will free the minds of these children, saith the Lord. Hallelujah. 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 You see, our God has people set in places we don't even imagine. We can't imagine. It's weird to say you see something ahead, but I do see things ahead. And... Uh, uh, you have been prepared all your life for this day, for this day. I, I venture to say I could say that to many. This is a new day for everybody here. You're going to learn, and I'm learning and have learned to a certain place that everything that is given to us is of him. He is in charge. He's the life. He's the resurrection. He's the way. We can speak it, but he's it. Amen. <laughs> if you're it, he'll get you out of the way until you're not it. Uh-oh, Mama Charlotte's getting started. <laughs> he has a way, Rita. If he wants to t take order of a house, believe me, he can take order of a house. I think about Dorothy Davis sometimes because uh, she's had her hands full through the years, truthfully. And uh, she's got to work in Burbank, California. And, and it amazes me, not that you have the work. <laughs> 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 
See what I mean about backwards? <laughs> uh, it amazes me how she so quietly stands in a place and so many people aren't even aware of who she is. But I see you sometimes, Dorothy, and I pity the one that puts her foot against that. God is for you. He saved you for this day. The hells you went through, they're gone. You're not going to remember anymore. You don't even talk about it anymore. Because he has placed a hand of righteousness upon your shoulder and in your mouth. And you're going to see your sons serve God. And I say not the one that's doing it, but these sons. The second one, too, is going to serve God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, yes, God's got us all right where he wants us. <laughs> and sometimes it's painful. Sometimes it's hard to walk through it. But when you know that God's with you, you can tackle the giant. Hallelujah. Glory to God. We're going to have a good time this morning. <laughs> and I want you to hear a song from Pauletta Johnson. And she's from Indiana. Those were the children that you prayed for. She's in charge of them. She's their caregiver. So give a good welcome to Pauletta, would you? been such a refreshing to me for me to just to be here this weekend uh, because uh, and I Ron when you were talking the other day or the other evening about it just isn't fair and uh, why does life have to be so hard it it uh, I just said that recently several times <laughs> and uh, when since I've had the kids, and I was sitting here thinking uh, just last evening, how long had I had them? And uh, it's, this will be the fourth year, minus five months. And uh, when I said that, why does it have to, why does everything have to be so hard? Uh, it was on one of our usual busy mornings where we were all getting ready um, for I have to work I'm still working and I'm getting them on the school bus they're eating breakfast and I'm trying to get myself ready and uh, I'd spent the weekend cleaning the house so I just mopped the floor getting the, they're eating they're starting to quarrel and bicker I call them the Bickerson sometimes because that's all they do is they fight <laughs> and when you hear you meanie you know you got a referee because they're about to go to blows between each other. That's strong language for an eight-year-old, you meanie. So anyway, I hear them doing that, and I'm trying to fix some iced coffee, rushing over, just uh, holding this glass, and it slips out of my hands, and the iced coffee goes everywhere. Now, mind you, I've spent the entire weekend cleaning the kitchen, mopping, and everything that I had just done, I had to do it all over. Again, because the coffee, it was a big cup. <laughs> it went on the floor. It went on the cabinets. It went everywhere. And they're over there. You meanie! I know they're about to, you know, go to blows and start rolling around on the floor fighting with each other. And I'm like, why does everything have to be so hard? Why? And I'm, think, I'm picturing in my mind spandex. And I'm thinking, you know, God, spandex, even spandex has its limitations of stretch. And I am about there. But, and then, you know, I, all the things that are going on in my life and my, and I have grown children that have children. And they've been going through some tough times, like oh, all of us have been going through different things in our lives that have just stretched us to our maximum capacity. And when I was talking to my oldest daughter, Dawn, she's like, Mom, I just feel like giving up. I don't know if I can go anymore. I love God, but I don't know what God's doing in my life. And I said, I'm right there with you. 
Everybody in this creation is groaning because they're being stretched. And that's where, and I said, but you know what, Don? What would you do? Where would you go? Are you going to not love God because you're having a hard time and you just don't understand why things are going on in your life? You can't. Though he slay me, yet will I serve him. It doesn't matter about my life or our lives. It matters about what God is doing in this hour, in this day. And he is stretching us. And my prayer is that we will all be strengthened and fortified to be able to withstand everything that comes against us. And all <clears throat> the stretching it just came to me, when you, just before you go to a run and before you go into your exercise or whatever it's that you've been preparing for, you're stretched. Yes. You're loosened. Maybe it's, that's what it is. We're being loosened. Our muscles are being loosened so that we can run. We're the forerunners. We are the forerunners of this day. Hallelujah. And I look at all of the talent that is in this room. It, it just, I'm in awe of the ministry, of, the, of the, the instrumentalists, I mean, the ministers, the prayers, the, the prayer warriors. And I, you know, <laughs> I'm so humble before the Lord. I only want what God wants for my family, for your families. I'm not here to entertain. I'm not here to do anything but what God, because that's where my heart is. That's where your heart is. We only want the truth. We only want what God, we don't want the fluff and all the other stuff that goes along with the rest of it. So when I was trying to think, okay, God, what do, what do, what do you want me to sing? I am not a pianist. I play, I plunk. Benjamin, you're the pianist and others here in the room that are so gifted. And I feel so awkward before you because here's my little plunkety plunk and you have such a, an artist mastery of it, I don't. But uh, I love the Lord and this was a song that God gave me a long time ago. And I hope I don't mess it up, but I'm, God knows my heart. I am the God of love. I'm on the wrong thing. Sorry. I am the God of love. See 
aqui Beautiful, beautiful, Pauletta. Uh, these North Carolina boys are going to leave us pretty soon. I, I thought they'd gone with Gary last night for some reason. Not with him, but I thought they'd gone. Now, I was pleasantly surprised to get here and see Darren and Josh and Destiny still and Dana here. So let's welcome Mr. Darren. <laughs> Better watch, Benji will come up here and grab it. <laughs> <laughs> this thing's pretty special, evidently. Mm -hmm. yeah. It just has an anointing, I guess. I it's not talent. <laughs> <laughs> I'm filling in for Dad today. No, uh, it's just been an honor and a privilege to be here. And um, I'm not going to take much time. I know there's so much here. Uh, but I did have, uh, I might just do a piece of two songs because, uh, and Josh, you can help me if you want to. It's up to you. Um, but that song last night you was talking about, um, the, one that, the last one that you wrote, I don't know if it's the last one that you wrote, but it was talk, you was talking about the Song of Solomon. Come away. Come away. And uh, Ben, you might know this song, Dance With Me. Yeah. And uh, I just, I might do a piece of it, you know, uh, because, see, I tell our home church, you know, when we sing, we're not just singing. We're prophesying. We're ministering. Yeah. It's, it's, it's so much bigger than just singing and playing. And it's even so much more than just lifting our hands because there is a release when we come together as a body. And we don't just begin to sing, but we begin to speak a creative word into the atmosphere. Yeah, I think you guys wrote that song, I'm Changing the Atmosphere Around Me. I don't know if y'all wrote that one or not, but Dad used to sing it all the time, and it, it stands out to me because that's what we're doing when we begin to worship, because God inhabits the praises of his people. And then there's another song also. It's called Everlasting Life. I had to have the thought that I might uh, share a song that I had written, but, you know, you got to follow the leading of the Spirit and, and what's appropriate for the meeting. But God is definitely taking us, Rick, into another place. And I was thinking about Bob's message, and I just, I know God's got me right where he wants me. And just to throw this one thing out there, and I heard Bob say it, and I, I don't know if I said it while I was speaking, but, you know, we get stuck with different, uh, you know, there's dispensations. God gives us the message of reconciliation. He gives us all, uh, right now, it seems like grace and finished work is really 
uh, you know, popular message, but it's not just about being popular. These things need to come together, and we need to bring these. When I was ministering and talking about going into that next dimension, it's not that we leave those things behind, but those things are perfected or brought to maturity in us. So we take these things with us into that dimension where we can move in and out. And we, we can meet and minister to the body where they are because we're constantly taking it to the next level, Bob. You know, that word you was talking about, I find myself not even able to explain what God's doing because it's so much bigger than words. It's so much bigger than an explanation. And I can't wrap, and I won't be able to wrap my mind around it because it's beyond comprehension. But there's something going on in the Spirit where He's taken us into a new place, into a different place. And, you know... And it's just so, so good to be gathered together with the body where you don't have to, um, you know, you, we spend so much time, uh, lots of times in, the, in different places, um, trying to lay a foundation. And here, it's like you don't even have to do that because God's got us all. And I know there is different levels, but nonetheless, just because the covering in this house, you know, all these, you know, when Charlotte come up last night, you know, it was an honor for me just to see it. And I, I told Dane, I don't know if you remember him because you were so intensely listening. I told my wife, I said, that's elders right there because Benji was on the piano and you know, Charlotte said, I, she called on specific ones, Mike, of course, Gary, my dad. And, uh, you know, it was just an honor to sit and listen and watch and, and be in the presence of, because I honor our elders. And Ron was telling me, you know, what they have poured, what you guys have poured into me, into my wife, you know, my cup runneth over, and I'm able to pour into my children. And, you know, so this thing is progressive, and we're moving. God is always moving. He's always moving. So without further ado, I'll go ahead and see if I can share a couple of these songs right quick.
will go You are my love You are my fair one Winter has passed And the spring time has come Yes, sir Dance with me song of all songs hallelujah Jesus hallelujah glory hallelujah Everlasting life, everlasting life. You are all over, you are all around, you are inside. This is life. You are. sickness and I'll be healed broken hearted human every need come and captive and I'll be free cause you are all over you are all around you are One more time. Hallelujah. I just can't see the way you hold me. And how I hidden in your heart. Minds don't know what all you told me. Oh, 
mine this is life everlasting life no everybody wants my guitar <laughs> yeah it's anointed bob this is Josh from uh, uh, Michelle. Do you remember him when he was little? You know, maybe because you were little. <laughs> Take my heart, lay it down. At the feet of you whose crown Take my life, I'm letting go Lift it up to you whose throne And I will worship you, Lord Only you, Lord And I will bow down before you only you lord take my fret take my fears all i have i'm leaving here be all my hopes, be all my dreams, be all my delights, be my everything. And I will worship you, Lord, only you, Lord. And I will bow down before you, only you, Lord. It's just you and me here now It's only you and me here now It's just you and me here now It's only you and me here now It's just you and me here now It's only you and me here now it's just you and me here now. Oh, it's only you and me here now. It's just you and me here now. It's only you and me here now. It's just you and me here now. It's only you and me here now. You should see the view when it's only you. So I will worship you, Lord, only you, Lord, and I will bow down before you, only you. For you, only you, Lord. Like this verse. It's saying my friend, it's saying my fears. All I have, I'm leaving here. Be all my hopes, be all my dreams, be all my delights, be my everything, be my everything, everything, everything. 
everything And I will worship you, Lord Only you, Lord And I will bow down before you only you Lord and I will worship you Lord only you Lord isn't it great to see these young ones up you know, Mavis, uh, they were they had to leave early uh, flight, so I guess they, I thought they were coming by here, but uh, Mavis and Ron are from Minnesota, and it must have been about 14 or 15 years ago, Bob and I were there with Jerry McGrath and uh, holding a meeting, and she, she, I'd never seen her, and she'd never seen us, and anyway, she is a classical pianist, I'm telling you, that woman is schooled and she sits here and plays with us but she's she's a real pianist and uh, so I, they had gotten me up and I decided to you know I'm a real hillbilly uh, well southerner anyway and um, so she had to play for me and oh my goodness she had such a hard time and I was having a hard time and it just it was just hard but I, I see as years go by, it's getting less hard for all the different musicians to come together. Amen. Uh, I'd like to say that, for one thing, people like Mike Kelly, who's also a perfectionist, um, he can just about play with anybody. And, of course, he and I get along good because I, I kind of play country. Uh, <laughs> kind of. Uh, but uh, Mavis and Ron made up their mind without our knowledge that they were going to go where we were places. And that dear couple started flying to California if we was out there, didn't she, Dorothy? Or uh, Oklahoma and come in here to all the meetings through these years. And why, she can just play country like you never saw now. Uh, might not sound quite as twangy as us, but, but she plays. But she purposed in her heart that she was going to play with us, and she would go to these places, and they, they really have been a blessing. And so we've learned that, uh, and how many appreci uh, appreciate Mike Kelly? Wow. <laughs> um, uh, yeah. Amen. I, I, just, I just dearly love how he is able to uh, reach with everybody, it's just great. Well, are, if there are, are there two girls in the audience that will claim Mama and Papa, come up here, <laughs> Daddy and Mama, and Papa, and Nana. No, sweetheart, wait just a minute. Just you're my next grandchildren. Just just one second. <laughs> well, welcome our daughter Michelle and our granddaughter Jordan. And I want to tell you, you're right up there with them, both of you. <laughs> Mike's going to play guitar. Uh, we raise them tall. <laughs> I got to tell you something funny. My dad's two brothers, one of them just retired from a, being a dean of Murray State University for the men, and he's six foot seven. And the other one is uh, six foot six, his brother. My, my, dad, my dad's on the other side. And it, so I told Bob that when we got together. I said, wait till you see my uncles. And he said, well, they can't be that big. I said, well, when, they, when you see them, they're going to have to duck down the door you know, come in. Well, we had a family reunion here a few years ago and he got to see him and here was Bob. <laughs> he says, you weren't kidding. I said, no, six foot seven. <laughs> I, 
I can still whip them, though. <laughs> um, let me have one of those songs. Um, you need that? Oh, okay. Thanks. We're going to... Uh, the 144,000, I think, uh, Landon. Is it the hundred and forty-four thousand? Hundred and forty-four thousand. The. Please. See. <laughs>
it's, it's such a privilege when we get to have uh, the girls with us. We love it. This fellow down there is Doug sitting there with his beautiful girls. Uh, he saw something you wrote on Facebook and he said, uh, uh, you really love her, don't you? And I said, yeah. Well, she, Doug said, she really loves you. And I said, yes, and I adore her. You know, I can say that on Facebook. <laughs> and these two little girls next to him, you're going to hear, and you're going to love them too because I adopted them. <laughs> We're going to sing one more song. And uh, Michelle, I, I don't, I'm not sure how old you were. You, it, Derek was born, and you were plenty young anyway, and uh, he must have been about three, I think, and she got this song, and it's so right for today, too. It's like things stood still for a lot of us for a few years, and then they just, they, like you heard today, it just comes up, and it's, it's now. So I wanted to sing it. Um, I'm going to probably have to hold this one. You got that in there, Landon? Uh, I, command I command you in the name, you in of, the the name of the Lord. And I remember her calling me, and she says, Mom, um, I have I got a song. And I said, well, wonderful. I, I figured maybe she was going to start in writing. And she sang it, and I thought, wow, that's... And it was impressive because it was demanding. And, and at that particular time in all of our lives, it was like, that's what we had to do. We had to take a stand with the Word. But now we can sing it to a people and let them know that there's no more death, no more strife. And she got that many years ago. Derek's 25, and I think he was three. Does that hurt you, Benji? <laughs> it did me a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> I command you in the name of the Lord. Strive. Only my good life, I command you in the name of the Lord, you'll walk in victory. I command you in the name of the Lord, set your spirit free. Oh, I command you in the name of the Lord, it's the day of your release. Tears to be shed. You're not lost, you're led. I command you in the name of the Lord. You'll walk in victory. Well, I command you in the name of the Lord. Put your mind at ease. Amen. I command you in the name of the Lord.
believe this is the word for us. I command you in the name of the Lord, set your spirit free. And I command you in the name of the Lord, it's the day of your release. No more tears to be shed. You're not lost, you're led. I command you in the name of the Lord, you walk in name of the Lord. Yeah, Lord. Set your spirit free. I command you in the name of the Lord. It's a day of your release. Yes. No more tears to be shed. Hallelujah. Come on, Lord. I command you in the name of the Lord.
can't say she acts like that around the house. Uh, <laughs> That oh, was God. hallelujah. That was pure God. And she went back there and ministered to Benji and his Michelle. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Wonderful. Oh, my. Let's praise him. Hallelujah. Lift up our hands to the Lord. You are the one, Lord. Oh. You are the one. Lord. You are the one. Woo! Hila Mashela Namahaya. Hallelujah. Let's praise him. Yeah. Open your mouth. Give him your praise. He's appeared this ancient of days. He's raising up in the flesh, you'll see. And he raises up. You go free, praise the Lord. Plan to 
you see You've been good, but better you would be Open your mouth and watch me flow <laughs> And see all the enemies we stole Put your hands out here This is your brother And I'm drawing him near I'll speak a word That he never knew I had to tell him And I'm using you Lift your hands yeah. <laughs> up high is the master says don't you die for across my breast please says the word get ready my people it's coming you haven't heard <laughs> time I'm gonna raise you up on this line you'll send out ignition that's strong a brand new power as you sing my song so praise me will set you free praise and worship i'm restoring again it's coming from heaven into mortal man praise me now some of you are wondering what's happening here to pay attention to what you may fear world is changing and I'm bringing it to pass I'm taking it over so you will last You have a job, listen and hear Give me the praise for I am always near And I'll come to rescue just you wait and see As you say I command you, I'll do it for thee Says the Lord Precious adopted girls. <laughs> Give them a hand, please. They're from Florida. And this is Joanna and Cassidy. If you weren't here when they sang before, and they're going to do a number for you.
God is good, you guys. <laughs> While we were sitting there, I was just like、um, kind of praying and soaking on God, and He was just like, just don't worry, be in peace. Because life is, is amazing, and peace is amazing. So, we're going to sing How He Loves. It was the first worship song I ever learned, and it's such a great song. So, okay. Oh, wait, I need to plug in my guitar. <laughs> There we go, Ian. Is that it? There's a chord on the floor. Sorry. I'm going to shut that off, Zach. Okay. <laughs> okay. Oh, bad curves. Um. Okay. What? You said something else, and I was like, what? <laughs>
thought about you the day Stephen died And you met me between my breaking And I know that I still love you, God, despite the agony The world wants to tell me you're cruel But does Stephen could say Beautiful. That was so cute. Bob said hallelujah. She said, what? We'll keep that forever. <laughs> um. Their dad is a unique person. He, uh, <laughs> <laughs> no, no, you're a good unique. You know, he's interesting in the fact that he has uh, relationships and contacts with um, 
help me say this right, the Grateful Dead, but it's a group. <laughs> I want to make that part clear. <laughs> Pardon? Okay. <laughs> but he's used with these fellas, and, uh, and he, a couple of them even requested to be my friend, I think probably because of Doug, but, but um, it's really interesting because they do want God. They really do. And, and then when they have something, they have a bad day, and they have those days because of what they've been in and everything, and, and uh, they'll ask us to pray. Boy, I pray for them. It, it's an outreach, and it's great, Doug. It's, I'm, I'm real proud of you for doing that. Not everyone can do that. Now, I, I would have trouble with my country understanding, except that people that are in trouble are all the same, really, or need God. They're just always, we, we, can, we can reach where we don't think we can. That's what I'm trying to say. It's, it's great.